So now you have moving, change of residence, moving in with your partner. All right, so let's take a look and see what's going on here, Virgo. Are you moving, someone moving in with you? Are you moving in with someone else? Buying or selling a home in January? Renting, leasing? Let's take a look here. Okay, so there's the home card. Four of Wands. Some of you are going to be moving in with a partner. That's the strongest message here. Celebration. That's like um, homecoming. It's even an energy of like a cel like um, house housewarming party, that kind of thing. Uh, somebody may be wanting to move in with you. Um, you moving in with them. Let's take a look. Okay. So you have the Page of Wands. And yeah, the Eight of Wands. There's going to be some communication happening in January. Um, this is all fire. Look at that. So it could be a fire sign, but it's all fire. There's uh, someone, this great idea. Let's move in together real fast. Let's get married. Let's do it all. Oh my God. Um, hold on. I'm feeling January 12th, they just said. There might be a conversation. Um, it's either moving in together or you, some of you might be moving home. I feel like it could be the end of this, maybe over the weekend, something starts happening, um, or someone's either you're, maybe you're moving home or someone's moving home with you, um, or is moving out and is moving, they're changing their residence. You'll hear about this over the weekend. It's going to happen pretty quick. This can be about uh, travel as well. So there could be c communication about um, traveling. Um, uh, like a distance, like there's a distance of moving in, changing residence to like a long distance kind of thing as well. All right, let me see. But yeah, for, for the most part, I feel like you're going to get some communication from someone in regards to um, moving in together. Okay, there's a magician. For some of you, this could be a Gemini that this involves. Okay, but there's definitely like, oh, somebody's got plans. They're going to tell you their ideas, how how things are going to get paid for, what, you know, what's going to, like, how we're going to do this with bills and split things up. And yeah, it's going to go quick too. Even with the Eight of Wands, this is an eight, uh, Cupid's Arrows to me. So it could be a love thing as well. Yeah, you could hear somebody's leaving to move in and they're getting married um, or they're getting into a long-term relationship or they're moving in with their boyfriend or girlfriend right like it could be someone connected to you like it could be your kids there's two pages there however old they are okay um or it could be one or they, maybe your kids are going to move in together you have college kids or something like that why is there yeah the nine of swords is here why is this here oh my god why is the nine of swords here Oh, okay. If someone's moving out, Virgo, that you have a connection with family-wise, um, you might be a little anxious about it or sad. Um, maybe just because you'll miss them. Um, I'm not seeing a breakup here or anything like that. So I'm not feeling like if you live with someone that you guys are breaking up and you're moving separate, going to go live separately. I don't feel that at all. This could have something to do with family because we do have family cards here, the four and the 10. So, um, there could be somebody moving in with a grandfather or an older male or, or a father figure. That kind of thing is playing out here as well. It's interesting. So I feel like over the weekend, there's going to be some talk, if not actual movement about this. Um, and it may not even be you who's stressed. There could be, if, if it's someone moving out that lives in your home, um, it could be them that's a little bit stressed. Um, or a little bit anxious about making the move. Um, but I don't think it's like, horrible it, it, I think whenever there's a change sometimes people just you know some people go with the flow easier than others right um, but for you if you have somebody if there's like um, you're moving in with someone um, <laughs> Virgo <laughs> nine of swords 
you might have your typical Virgo worries like, oh, what if it doesn't work out? What if, you know, we struggle? You know, oh, there's a sign. <laughs> you might be just worried. What if it's not like, what if it's too expensive? It could be you and another person that you're with, maybe going and purchasing some real estate um, or a house or like, uh, there's a little bit of anxiety there too. Okay. I don't think it's really a bad thing. I just feel like it's, you know, you worrying about the what ifs, you know, what if this makes our relationship harder or what if we take on too much, you know, or what if living together, you know, it, it doesn't work out. And, and, you know, we're like, actually like Virgo, stop, <laughs> stop. Like if you're, if that's you, if you're that Virgo, that's like in the what ifs, oh my gosh, like, don't, don't, cause you're going to, you're going to, then it's not going to work out. Okay. Expect the best, hope for the best. How does that saying go? I said it last night too, and I forget. Is it hope for the best, but expect the worst? I don't even know if that's, I don't even know if I like that. But anyway, yeah, there's some concern. I mean, everything, honestly, everything looks good, but your anxiety is like taking you down into like the rabbit hole here. You know, I, I see. All right. So I, I feel like those are your worries. Honestly, I feel like things are going to work out. There's going to be actually more money, um, less expenses for you as a single, if you're single and you know, if you're just paying the bills up by yourself or, um, you might find a really great deal. You could be out looking and might feel like you're not going to find anything. It's going to happen. There will be a change of residence. So something is definitely showing up on the 12th of January. You might even just be like stressing if you have to move home. Um, but I feel like it'll just be a temporary, like a stepping stone. You might not want to, but you might have to. But also, yeah, I, let's move on. Let's see what else is coming up here for you. Okay, there's the two ones. Wow, and the Wheel of Fortune. So the decision that you're about to make or that you're going to make about changing residence or moving or uh, someone's living with you, it's in your favor. It's going, listen, it's going to work out. It's going to be okay, right? I do see you kind of like, all right, I got to make this decision. Um, and the Wheel of Fortune is all about timing, right? So I feel like, Virgo, if you time it right, when it feels right, don't don't make a decision about um, moving in with someone if it doesn't feel, like, not emotionally, but intuitively right to do it. The timing will come, and then you'll be able to, then you'll know what you need to do. All right, so it did say Gemini earlier, so now we have the first court card. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So it could there could be a connection to an air sign regarding this situation. Okay. Um, romantic interest, family member, colleague, whatever it might be. Okay. Um, if it's if it's um anybody else who's moving out, it's gonna work out for them. It's a good thing. If it's um if it's, if it's a romantic partnership moving in together, it looks like it's going to be fine. It's going to be okay. And if it's like, um, if you have like a roommate or something, if they're moving out, you'll be fine. If they're moving in, you'll be fine. Virgo, I just feel like everything's like a little bit of effort put in on both sides. Um, if it's changing residence and downsizing or upgrading, it's going to be okay. Either way, something's going to come through. Right? Look, the fool. So I feel like that's a message, you know, don't worry, be happy. <laughs> don't worry, be happy. Yeah, it's going to be fine. You're going to be okay. Um, so I feel like for some of you, you're already like, maybe you're already married to this person and it could be moving the kids in. It could be just the two of you moving in together. It could be a relationship. It's going to be okay. There's Aquarius. So we're getting a lot of air. I'm picking up a lot of air energy. Could be buying some real estate together. Okay, now you've got the King of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces here. So they could be attached to the situation as well. Let's see. Okay. Five of Swords. 
ten of wands, getting rid of all your, your burdens, right? Okay, so listen. Here's what I'm thinking. Um, this big move is going to change everything in your love life for the better. I don't know how it's connected, but everything in your, your love life, for some reason, is going to improve drastically because of some kind of moving or resonance change, um, that kind of thing. Like I said, I'm not picking up a split here because the lovers is here. It's actually, it's going to get better. So your fears and worries just kind of feel to me like you're just your typical fears and worries. Virgo will like worry themselves to sleep. They'll worry themselves into like a rabbit hole um, because Virgo, it, it's mostly because Virgo will think of every single scenario, how something can turn out, how something will work, how something could go. Uh, Virgo's like a little strategist, you know? The problem is that sometimes you get so deep into your thought process that you miss the big picture, right? And then life comes down and just throws you for a loop. And then you're kind of like humbled by that, right? Don't ever think it, you know, just get yourself in a, just look at the facts and the evidence uh, if you're going to do any of this overthinking or trying to make a decision. And then, you know, put a time limit on it, like set an alarm so you don't get lost in the thing. Just kind of like, I just feel like the message here for you is to just go with the flow. I feel like everything is going to be okay and it's going to work out no matter what. Your love life is definitely going to improve. And look, there you are, Queen of Pentacles. Or it's a connection with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Um, I don't feel like this is a new love. I'm going to have to say that as far as romance goes. I'm not picking up any new thing happening here. So this could already be, if, if you don't have a romantic partner, this may have to do with a family member, friend, or work colleague, roommate, or something like that. Okay. Um, if it was a new partner coming in, um, and they want to move in with you and you just met, I would run like hell <laughs> because that's creepy. You're like, no, I'm sorry. I don't even know you. Nope. This is where my door ends right here. You can't come in with your bags. F out of here. <laughs> Unless you're that, if you're that, hey, listen, I'm not going to judge. You all do what you need to do. But I feel like if this is something that's been on the plate, on the table, um, I feel like things are going to be okay. I really do. Um, but I feel like for some of you, you got to get rid of this burden. Just cut it out. You know what I mean? Like uh, if you look at this, I'm seeing this person here. That's you with the three swords. And there's, that's the other two personalities of you that like, like to come in and demonize you. They're like, oh, what about this? What about this? And Virgo's like, get out, get out, get out. Getting, ending the struggle, the burden, and just... Let things flow, but be aware of where you're going, right? You're heading down the river and you have no oars in your boat. Make sure your eyes are open so you're not going over the side of the waterfall, right? You can go with the flow, but you need to keep your, you need to keep your wits about you. Everything's going to work out. This is all going to be fine with this whole moving in together or changing residence or, you know, whatever it is okay i can tell you like i said before your whole like your love life is going to improve because of this you guys thank you so much for watching my readings if you'd like to get a personal reading please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading please remember to book subscribe like do all the great things um and i hope that you guys have a fantastic blessed loving and light filled life <laughs>